Hey guys, welcome back. So let's work on the action modes. So the action modes are animations that the character can do like emotes or actions like eat, drink, sleep or dig. So let's dive right into it. Now, the action modes are the only modes that has IDs. So if you go to Malverse Animations, tools, Malverse Animations, show all IDs, you will see that you have the state IDs with his with its values, the modes, the stances, and the actions. Now, we have IDs for stun, we have IDs for eat, pet, talk, drink, sit, and these IDs are used on the zones so we can activate those animations. For example, if I have a eating zone I will use this ID instead of searching for a number because I have already saved that ability on an ID let's see what animation we have for the raccoon so let's go to raccoon sorry raccoon animations and on the actions we have a dig animation we have a neat animation we have a drink we have a stun we have an action crawl perfect so what we're going to do is to drag these animations right here sorry let's create a substate machine to have things more organized and let's call it action and now let's drag these animations right here and now Let's open again on tools, Malverse animations, animation tools. And now let's select modes. We're going to do the action mode and we're going to select the raccoon. So we have the reference set right here and the animator controller. And if we select all the animations, we will have the ability to change the index and the name of the abilities. And now we're going to set the index to match the action index. So for crawl, we have nine. For drink, we have seven. For eat, we have two. For dig, we have 10. And for stone, we have one. And let's rename the ability. So we have a better name if you unselect anything will you will lose these changes so be aware of that and now let's add all the transitions needed and now since we have added all the transitions on the animations you will see that we have the mode behavior and on the raccoon the action mode has been added with the index and the abilities set properly now let's test some of these animations let's use eat as reference now eat has a loop animation so if you check right here you will see that we can fix that loop transition to fix better a looping eating animation so something like this perfect and now on the raccoon let's test this mode this action mode we can add a simple input to test this out so let's right click on the malverse input create let's go to action and this will create an action input with the letter e and i'm going to add to the action input that same name and now so let's test it so we need to set it as the active ability on the mode so if we hit play press e the animal will eat perfect now to test the loop transition that we made right here we can change on the eat animation the status so if we use for example church or hold input down and use E and I 
keep pressing E you will see that the animation will play forever until I release the key and if I release the key the animation will end you can also change it to activate by time if I press E sorry I didn't use remember to select the correct animation so if I set activate by time and I press E the animation will play for three seconds and then it would end you can also set it to toggle if I press E it will play forever and if I press E again it will end perfect now why we use this preset ID or indexes is because we can use zones so if I type zone you will see that we have a zone to eat we have a zone to drink we have a zone to dig and these zones will activate those IDs so when we enter these zones we can play these animations if you check the zone component when the animal enters it will play the action mode with the dig ID you can change for time all those properties that you saw on the mode ability you can use it right here so now let's go back to the raccoon let's set the ability to zero so when we are not on any zone and I press E nothing will happen but check right here if we go to the dig zone the active ID will be set to 10 and if I press E the animal will dig if we go to eat you will see that the active ability was set to 2 and if I press E the animal will eat and we go to drink the animal will drink and that's it that's how you add actions to any character you can use emotes too you can if you want to add new IDs you simply duplicate any of the created ID by hitting ctrl D let's see jump happy let's use this name right here and remember to check that no ID has been used so the fastest way to do this is to simply right click right here and set get ID and here the ID 27 is free so you can use it that's it that's how you made action modes